Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the top five best weapons for multiplayer right now in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We're going to be talking about each of these weapons, why I think they're good, and why pretty much if you use any of these weapons and use them to the correct playstyle, you can succeed fairly well in a multiplayer of Modern Warfare. If you could drop a like on this thing, let's go ahead and go for 782 likes. That would be absolutely amazing if we could hit that. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed. We're up over 960k on the road to a million subscribers. The growth has been amazing. Everyone dropping likes and supporting has been amazing. So I really, really do appreciate that. Smack a like and let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, this list is in no particular order, of course, because if you're an SMG player, the SMGs will be better for you. If you're an AR player, the ARs will be better for you. It all really depends on play style. So these top five are not in any particular order. And also all of these weapons we're going to be talking about today are either SMGs and assault rifles. I, although in this game, I think that the shotguns are really, really overpowered as well as there's some really good uh, LMGs. For th Those are more niche weapons that if you're, you know, rushing people very, very close, of course, a shotgun's going to be the best. Or if you're posting up in ground war, of course, an LMG might be the best. But for most of the scenarios that people are going to be facing in 10v10 or 6v6 and even in ground war, I'm going to go over these top five weapons. And, you know, the majority of those are going to be SMGs and assault rifles that people use in this game. And this is why I think these are the top five weapons. We'll go ahead and get right into it. Now, the first one we have right here is, of course, the M4A1. Now, this is by far, I think, the most used weapon in this game. Uh, the M4A1 is your classic fully auto assault rifle, and it is unlocked very, very early in the assault rifle class. Uh, this is a weapon that has a pretty nice uh, iron sight or default sight on it, as well as you could use the red dot or different types of circular red dot sights. This one also has, is a, if you order di the game digitally, I'm not sure if it was on PS4 only, but it came with a variant called the XRK, which sort of allowed people to get an early head start and get really, really good attachments on this weapon before actually unlocking the levels and that's why I think gra gravitated a lot of people towards this weapon as well but basically it's a fast firing fast killing assault rifle that is fairly easy to control as well and that's why you know it's just a weapon that people really really go towards this is a weapon that you can do well with at medium range even at long range although you might have a tad bit of recoil but because of that fire rate being so so fast you can actually compete with people up close and personal which is what makes this weapon so damn effective uh, it's literally melting these people up close like you can see in the gameplay and this is an assault rifle that can still pick people off at a distance although it might have a tiny bit of a bounce you know more than something like a kilo which is more like an ACR laser but you get trade-offs for that and this gun absolutely melts people at most of the ranges and that's why it is at this point probably I would bet the, the most popular gun or the gun that people are using the most and it's really going to be interesting to see what Infinity Ward does uh, if we get these first weapon balancing changes you know Infinity Ward really doesn't balance their game as often as Treyarch does so I'm you know the game's been out for a week I'm excited to see when they're gonna come out with these patch notes and what weapons if any of these top five are gonna get nerfed or buffed or anything like that next weapon we're gonna talk about here is the MP7 now the MP7 is a late unlocked SMG but this thing is amazing I use this in the beta so much and then once I was able to unlock it in this game it's really really amazing this thing has very low recoil but also a super duper fast fire rate and time to kill so it's fairly easy to handle it also has a nice little default uh, sight on it, uh, similar to how it was in Modern Warfare 3, which of course if you played Modern Warfare 3, you remember the MP7 stood out uh, leaps and bounds ahead of most things in that game, and in this game, it's pretty similar. It's one of the best SMGs in my opinion, because of the fact that you can still do that damage at uh, of course, dis at a distance, but because of the way the class setups are set up, you can build your SMG class setups where the speed is just not even comparable, even to something like the M4 that I just talked about that can do big damage up close. The way you have to build that weapon weapon, uh, because of how the class setups work with the attachments, pros and cons, you sort of have to kill some things on that weapon to get some things that benefit it. And with SMGs, it's not really like that. Uh, of course, if you're playing to the play style, you need to keep up close and up close to medium range. But the MP7, I think, is absolutely amazing. And it definitely reminds me of the one in Modern Warfare 3. Maybe not as overpowered as that one, because that was probably one of the most overpowered guns uh, in COD history. That was literally an SMG that could laser people across the map and also had fairly decent damage at range. This one isn't as much of a laser, but um, of course, it's still, I mean, you can see these gunfights that I'm taking on up close, mid-range. They're basically the same thing with the MP7. Uh, this is a very, very nice weapon to handle, and it's one that I think when people, uh, you know, obviously not everyone has this weapon yet because it's unlocked uh, later in the levels, but as people start to unlock this, I think this is one that we'll see uh, very, very often out on the battlefield, much like we're seeing people spam those early level unlocks uh, as of right now. So MP7, definitely something you want to give a 
a try to uh, a weapon that is very very nice for rushing but you can still peek out of those buildings I like it on a map like this you know Gronza Raid where you can get those close range gunfights when you're playing around the buildings but then also when you're in a building maybe looking out or looking out at a line of sight like this you can still take on those fights which you might not feel comfortable with with uh, a lot of the other SMGs in this game. Next weapon is going to be the Odin Assault Rifle. Now, the Odin Assault Rifle fits this game very, very nice, as it's a weapon that can kill people very, very quick. It has a nice time to kill, and it doesn't take too many bullets to melt the enemies. Now, this weapon is kind of on the slower side. A lot of the good attachments are going to slow this thing down. You also only have 20 bullets, so my solution to that is just running with a sleight of hand. However, this weapon, I say it's really, really good because it fits the playstyle of this game, which is sort of posting up and uh, looking out and picking people off, which is kind of the way this game is played. Obviously, that's not, um, you know, I think we have to sort of wait and see because there's a lot of DLC maps that are going to be coming to this game for free, and it really is probably, I think, the time to kill and the map design, and maybe also the spawns, which uh, Infinity Ward, has act the, the devs have actually talked about. They're going to be uh, updating the spawns or at least looking at some fi fixes for that. But yeah, the Odin is a weapon that is super duper nice. I like the default sights on this weapon. I find that I was testing out with, you know, uh, red dots or different sites like that it just makes it a little bit too slow of a weapon for that and personally the default sites on this thing aren't bad at all but yeah this is a nice weapon where it's cl it's clean it's easy to use the fire rate is not super duper fast this is not a weapon you're going to be wanting using uh up close although because of the uh lack you know or not the lack but the low amount of bullets it takes to kill you can still do quite well with it the style you want to play with this is similar to what i was doing in this game where you can see i'm sort of patrolling up in the enemy spawn i get up on a height advantage which is something that is so damn popular in this game is the variation in heights. Um, I don't know if we've really seen it like this in many other Call of Duty games, but if you can be up top looking down and shooting down onto people, that is where a weapon like this succeeds, especially if you're sitting on a head glitch or whatever. The Odin is a weapon that I don't think this gun is for everyone. I think some people will hate it because of the feeling that it's too slow or something like that, but it's similar to, if you remember the Gorgon from uh, an old Black Ops 3 game, that was a weapon that this sort of feels like the assault rifle version of the Gorgon, which means it's a little bit f faster and sped up, but you get those very, very quick kills, but you do have to sacrifice some other things. Luckily, the way the class setups are uh, set up and made around, obviously, I'm probably going to be making a class. I haven't made a class setup for the Odin yet. I've done, uh, I think, five class setup videos so far, uh, and then another video for, like, beginner or low-level class setups, but I definitely will be covering this one soon because it's a weapon that I like to use quite often in this game, and when you're posting up and just being able to... Uh, pick people off. Uh, I think this is a weapon that definitely deserves a spot in this top five. I think this is one that some people might disagree with, but you really have to uh, get this thing leveled up, get those late, late attachments, and be able to use this for what it's made for. Um, you know, a low amount of bullets to kill people, and a gun that's pretty easily controllable because you don't have much of a fire rate on this thing. It's just pretty consistent across the board, and it's uh, not too hard. The recoil is going to be a nice little bounce, and you're going to have a mid to slow level fire rate for an AR with very, very, very high damage on this thing. Next, we're going back to another SMG on this list, which is going to be the MP5. Now, the MP5 is absolutely awesome. This is the SMG that's probably the most used in this game as of right now because of the level that is unlocked. Like I said, I think the MP7 and the MP5 are both incredible, but the MP7 is un are unlocked quite later. Now, the MP5 is awesome. You have some great options with this thing when it comes down to the ammunition. You can either get that 10 millimeter ammunition and start melting people uh, a, a little bit more at a distance, uh, or you can go with the 45 bullets, which gives you that extended mags, which is nice, uh, very, very nice to have on an SMG, and allows you to feel like you can sort of rush a tiny bit. Obviously, this game is not designed for rushing, but you can see here, I like it on a cl uh, on a map like this, where it's going to be close to medium range. The MP5 is definitely controllable at these mid-ranges, and deletes people fairly, fairly quickly because of its high fire rate and decent damage, and even up close, this thing is very, very easy to maneuver with, and has a nice hit fire. I definitely think this is a weapon that brings back a lot of uh, nostalgia or good feelings because of how many times. I mean, a lot of the weapons in this game, I like the fact that the weapons in this game are a lot of classic weapons that we've enjoyed and loved on the Modern Warfare series, and this one definitely feels very, very good in this game. This might be one of the, the times the MP5 has felt the best in the Modern Warfare series, aside from maybe Call of Duty 4, which that gun was, you know, was absolutely incredible in that game. Uh, probably the top SMG in that game, and I 
I think it, it debatably could be the top SMG in this game. I'm not really sure. Let me know in, you co in the comment section down below your opinions. This game, it, you know, the game is very, very early. So, of course, we have to wait and see what weapon balances happen and what sort of metas we develop into. But as of right now, a week into the game, you really can't go wrong with this thing. It's a weapon that you probably, uh, like most of these weapons, if you think, you know, if you only have the Odin at level 1 or you only have the MP7 at level 5, you're probably not going to like the weapons as much. You need to get these things up to, like, level 40 or 50 before you start completing these weapon builds and really getting a hang of, like, on these SMG class setups. I'm using stuff that's speeding up my, uh, you know, my ability to shoot coming out of a sprint, my ability to aim down sights. And that's why if you watch these gameplays, my, um, these SMGs feel very, very fast in your hands when my ARs feel a bit slower but are really melting people and doing the big, big damage and are fairly controllable, to be honest. You know, a, a thing like the Odin just has a small bounce. Uh, an M4, which has a super-duper fast fire rate. The M4 has the fast fire rate. The Odin has the high damage. Uh, and both of them, you're just kind of getting a little bit of a bounce recoil, which is fairly controllable. If you're having trouble with it, definitely be pulling down against that. And you can go with different... Um, different attachments to control that recoil. Of course, you usually have to sacrifice some sort of uh, speed. So you can see, like, look at this. These people are trying to camp up top, and I'm still able to pick them off with the MP5. So this is a weapon that is honestly probably one of the most rewarding and fun ones to use, a weapon that I use quite a bit. In the beta, I would run MP7 and MP5 overkill and just run around like that. Um, and this is a weapon that, yeah, definitely a very, very solid SMG that you really can't go wrong with. And then next on our list is going to be the Kilo 141 Assault Rifle, which this one reminds me a lot of the ACR. We I already talked about the MP7, but this one reminds me a lot of the ACR because basically the fact that it is a laser beam, I guess you could say, you can use it with the default sights, which are very nice on this weapon, as you can see here, or of course you could slap on a red dot or any sort of scope that you want. This is a weapon that can also be used with like different, different scopes for more long range because of the fact that this one has, yeah, practically no recoil, less recoil, I would say, than the M4 and um, less bounce than the Odin. This is a weapon that if you don't really want to, if you just want a weapon that's going to be solid for you and that's going to be easy to control and fun to use this is a one that definitely is the is the go-to and reminds me completely like i would say of something like the um of something like the ACR from probably Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, all those, those ACRs were just, I mean, back in those days, it really had weapons that stood out above everything. Like, you know, Modern Warfare 3, it was the ACR, and it was the MP7, and then in Modern Warfare 2, we had the UMP, and we had the ACR, and then we had the FAMAS. So the U I guess there was three weapons that were kind of overpowered like that in Modern Warfare 3. They, they hit you with one burst, or Modern Warfare 2, sorry. They hit you with one burst, the FAMAS. They hit you with the fully auto AR, uh, ACR, laser beam and then they hit you with the ump and in this game i think all of these five weapons are really really amazing i want to give some honorable mentions to other weapons in this game that i think are incredible like i said shotguns and lmgs are just they're really really strong in this game um and even the marksman rifles but those are more for niche things uh, as far as assault rifles and smgs go i really want to give an honorable mention to the m13 assault rifle which i think is absolutely deadly we'll be making a class up on that very very soon and uh, is a very very fast firing nicely used assault rifle as well as the P90, which I uploaded a class setup on yesterday. I think the P90 is a really dope weapon. The way the attachments work on that thing, you can just deck it out and get your sprint uh, your, your sprint to fire speed up so quick, where I, li I like to call it the get your gunny up quick class setup, where the gun just comes up super duper quick. Anyway, to recap, M4A1, MP7, Odin, MP5, and Kilo, they're all used for uh, sort of different play styles, and they all have their strengths and weaknesses, but are used for mainly for 10v10, 6v6, and even in ground war. I think these are some of the best class setups that or that you can't not best class ups but the best guns you can get and i'm gonna be making class ups for all of them i've already covered the uh, m4 and the kilo and much more to come drop a like subscribe i'll catch you on the next one and i'm out peace